Now the router performs two key functions. The first one is called as the routing and the second one is called as the forwarding. And in order to understand these two functions, let us consider this scenario. Here this router is connected to these other routers in the internet and there is an IP packet that is entering into this router through this interface and in the header of this IP packet there is the IP address of the destination host. Now as this IP packet enters this router this router can output it either at the interface 1 R at the interface 2, R at the interface 3. Now inside the router, there is a routing table, which is also called as the local forwarding table. And as this packet enters the router, this router compares the destination IP address with the address range 1 in the routing table. And if this IP address falls in the address range 1, then this IP packet is output at the interface and if the destination IP address falls in the IP address range 2, then in that case, it is output on the interface 2. And similarly, for the address range 3, if the destination IP address matches the address number 3, it is again output on the address range 2. And if the destination IP address matches the address range 4, it is output on the interface 1. So this procedure of forwarding the packet from the input to the output interface, it is called Called as the forwarding. Now the next question that arises it is that how these routing tables are built. These routing tables are built using the routing algorithm. The routing algorithm determines that what is the source to destination path that is taken by an IP packet as it passes through this router in the internet.